Officials at Japan's Nuclear Regulation Authority plan to determine radioactive contamination in the seabed off the coast of the crippled Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant. Their investigation starts on Monday. The NRA asked researchers at the University of Tokyo and elsewhere to cooperate in mapping how radioactive substances are distributed on the sea bottom. The researchers will conduct a survey at sea 20 kilometers from Fukushima Daiichi. They'll lower from their boat a device that measures radiation on the sea bottom. Then they'll slowly drag the instrument over the seabed to measure the level of radioactive cesium. The research group conducted the same kind of test last fiscal year. They found 40 highly contaminated spots. This time, the research will cover about 700 kilometers, which is five times wider than the last test. The investigation would help discover the level of contamination on the seabed. And we would be able to produce a map for people in the fishing industry so that they will be able to operate safely and soundly. Engineers at the International Atomic Energy Agency are testing a remote-controlled aerial device for use in Fukushima. It's built to measure radiation levels in areas deemed too dangerous for humans. The prototype was designed based on a drone used to inspect post-disaster sites around the world. An unmanned helicopter made by the Japan Atomic Energy Agency now monitors radiation levels over the damaged Fukushima plant. But the IAEA 6 rotor prototype is much smaller and easier to maneuver. It can fly close to buildings and even electric cables. The device is radio controlled and equipped with a camera. Operators can pre-program it with data about the topography and buildings in the survey area. IAEA officials say they hope to make the device available to Fukushima Prefecture in two years. The Electric Power Company plans to cut electricity rates gradually over the next decade. The company wants to do this by restarting nuclear reactors at its plant in central Japan. After the nuclear accident at the Fukushima Daiichi plant in 2011, TEPCO raised the rates to cover losses. The hike averaged about 8.5% for households and 17% for companies. Well, now sources say the utility plans to lower electricity rates in stages. They say the cuts will total about $10 billion a year in about 10 years. TEPCO officials think they will be able to reduce the electricity bills by reactivating all seven reactors at the Kashiwazaki Kariwa plant in Niigata Prefecture over the next several years. All reactors there are now offline. Officials also plan to slash fuel costs by replacing old thermal power plants with more efficient facilities. 
TEPCO aims to include these steps in a 10-year business strategy that it plans to draw up by years end. And business leaders from Japan and Arab nations have gathered in Tokyo. They're discussing how to strengthen their economic ties. The third Japan Arab Economic Forum is jointly sponsored by the Japanese government and the League of Arab States. People from Japan and 20 nations and territories in the Middle East and North Africa are participating. We want to build multi-layered economic ties with Arab nations that go far beyond the traditional field of energy. Motegi said Japan wants to expand partnerships with Arab nations not only in the oil and natural gas business, but also in nuclear power and renewable energy development. Other areas of potential cooperation include the construction of infrastructure like railways and water systems through direct investment. Participants are also considering how Japan can get involved in developing a range of industries in each Arab nation to help end economic disparity. Elderly people in Japan fear they may lose their memory. Researchers estimate that 5.5 million senior citizens now suffer from dementia. A team from Kyushu University spoke with about 1,900 people aged 65 or older in the western town of Hisayama. The demographics and mortality rate there are close to Japan's national average. The researchers found that 342 people, nearly 20 percent of the population, suffer from dementia. They concluded that this year an additional 900,000 Japanese exhibit the symptoms. The researchers say the number of seniors with Alzheimer's disease has doubled since their last study seven years ago. They say more people are likely to develop cognitive impairment as the population ages. On the 14th day of December year 2013, Torije City Office, Torije City, Ibaraki Prefecture, Japan, Torije City is 45 kilometers from the center of Tokyo. 180 kilometers from the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Radiation pollution map of the Fukushima Daiichi accident by Professor Yukio Hayakawa of Gunma University of Japan. Toride City is located in the hot spot. The monitoring post shows 0.106 microsievert per hour.測定が完了しました。ST の線量計では 0.18 The monitoring is completed. 2.35 microsievert per hour. Mizono-chikaku,駐車場の隅に溜まった砂の上です.
The mayors of Hiroshima and Nagasaki want U.S. President Barack Obama to visit their cities, and they're asking Ambassador Caroline Kennedy to help. Hiroshima Mayor Kazumi Matsui and Nagasaki Mayor Tomihisa Tawe met Kennedy at the U.S. Embassy in Tokyo. Atomic bombs were dropped on their cities during World War II. The mayors noted that former President John F. Kennedy called on international leaders to sign a treaty banning nuclear testing. The said his daughter's position gives them hope this can become reality. Matsuya and Tawe thanked her for going to Nagasaki earlier this month and asked her to visit Hiroshima next. She said she plans to do so as soon as possible. Ambassador Kennedy said President Obama would consider traveling to Hiroshima and Nagasaki if the mayors asked him directly. Matsuya and Tawe plan to send a letter of invitation to President Obama. I understand the ambassador is hoping for a nuclear-free world, too. Matsui says he hopes Kennedy will become an important bridge between two countries. From Mount Fuji to cherry blossoms, Japan has a lot to offer, and tourism officials want to make sure more and more people come visit. The people from Japan Tourism Agency showed people in Hanoi what's on offer. Families and young people came to the event. Some imagined themselves at some of Japan's best-known sites. Others tasted green tea in a traditional tea ceremony. I want to try Japanese food. I want to see the cherry blossoms and go shopping in Tokyo. About 80,000 tourists from Vietnam have visited Japan since the beginning of this year. <coughs> in July, the Japanese government eased visa requirements for visitors from there and other countries in Southeast Asia to try to draw in more tourists.